Welcome to the road to 1 million US dollars. Let's get right into the Bitcoin chart for today. Now, as I'm recording this video, guys, we are basically at 100,000 US dollars per Bitcoin. So it is just absolutely insane. The reason I'm starting off on this chart today is to show you guys that I have been the biggest bear on YouTube. I have been bearish on Bitcoin since 66K for the Bitcoin price, right? No, but in this video, I'm going to talk about, well, let's say that we break through this 100K level. What are some areas that we could be targeting next after that right because now that we are at 100k this is something that we should definitely be looking at in advance so starting off here on this one day time frame here i took a fibonacci extension from this low here to this high here at about 73k taking it back down to this low at about 49k and taking a look at this the first fibonacci level above 100k is the 1.618 fibonacci extension sitting at a hundred and six thousand dollars for the bitcoin price in the case that we reach up to this level we could be expecting there to be some kind of short-term resistance here at the very least now, besides that, if I actually take a look at a Fibonacci retracement here from this 73K level down to this 49K level, once again, if I zoom out a little bit here, you can see that 2.618 Fibonacci retracement sitting at about $114,000 for the Bitcoin price. So after breaking that 106K level, then that would be the next short-term level of resistance for Bitcoin already at 114,000. So it is just getting, honestly, it's just getting really insane. The The higher we go here, the more skeptical I'm going to become of this, this pump, especially if we see no pullbacks along the way. But as I jokingly said in the beginning of the video, I mean, I have been called a perma bear for a long time. So I was talking about the whole breakout ever since 66K or something like that. And I have been long from 68K. I'm still in that position as I'm recording this video. Uh, but still, I get called a perma bear because sometimes, guys, I'm just a little bit skeptical of the pump. It doesn't mean that I'm not long. But at the same time, I am always looking out for warning signals because that is exactly what has saved my ass so many times in this market here. Just remaining objective and looking at the charts objectively while everyone is in this euphoric state and just not even looking at the charts anymore. They're out drinking, they're out partying, enjoying the, the gains and everything. But I just want to be focused on these charts and get this thing right. So sometimes you will hear me be a little bit more concerned or something than perhaps some other channels that you're looking at. However, I'm doing that because I don't want to be like turbo bullish saying like, yeah, up only forever. <laughs> we're, going, we're going to 300K boys. Don't even look at the charts anymore. And then it doesn't, right? So that is why I am constantly looking out for potential warning signals. And yeah, I don't think that makes me a perma bear, but you can be the judge of that. So zooming into this short term for Bitcoin, looking at the four hour time frame, here you can still see this bearish divergence that has been showing up and that has technically speaking confirmed here in the charts. So again, technically speaking, this is pointing towards a break from all of this bullish price action that we have been seeing here recently. Now, a bearish divergence typically points towards either some choppy sideways price action or even some bearish momentum in the short term. And I mean, right now, as I'm recording this, we are in a Friday, so, so it would not be crazy to actually see Bitcoin cool off a little bit over the weekend if this bearish divergence does not get invalidated. Usually, a Bitcoin weekend will just be trading sideways and not really doing much because the Bitcoin ETFs aren't trading, for example. There's just a lot less volume in the market. So it wouldn't be crazy to see. But as I have been saying, this entire time with these bearish divergences that just keep showing up over and over again. Personally, I am not looking at this bearish divergence and thinking like, yes, okay, we're going to get some kind of major pullback right now. I'm going to open up a big short position and try to short a move to the downside. Like if you just look at this one day time frame here, if you are thinking about shorting this, why? Like we have seen like five green candles in the past month, bro. Like stop trying to short this thing and just just <laughs> like just stop trying to fucking short this thing okay not financial advice but regardless i am personally not looking at trying to short this thing 
even with this confirmed bearish divergence. Now, the way this thing could invalidate is either by the price trading above this descending trend line in the RSI or trading above this ascending trend line in the Bitcoin price. Now, the thing with bearish divergences that I have been warning about for the past, like, I don't know, week or two or so, is that the Bitcoin price can just keep creeping up higher here. And in that case, you have to keep redrawing your trend line over and over again as the price moves up. What I'm saying is I am just noting that there is a bearish divergence here in the charts. And if we now actually get some choppy sideways price action, perhaps a slight pullback or something like that, this would be what I would be looking at to explain why we got that pullback. But personally, I'm not trying to short a move to the downside unless I'm doing it on the like super, super low timeframes or something like that. I just like trading the lower timeframes. I long and I short because it is less dependent on the higher time frame move, which currently is up and it is bullish. So that is that. Either way, let's take a look at the Bitcoin liquidation heat map. First of all, on this one week time frame here, what you can see right now is that we still have liquidity to the upside sitting as high as about 99.9K for the Bitcoin price. So people are still trying to short Bitcoin right now. And I mean, if you just look at the history here, for example, November 19th, this was like a couple of days ago, right? We have just been taking out bare liquidity over and over and over again. People just keep trying to short every little pump that Bitcoin is doing, and then it just takes out all of that liquidity a little bit later on. Okay, now if I do actually take a look at the liquidity to the downside, we have about $300 million worth of Bitcoin long positions that would get liquidated if the Bitcoin price reaches 97,000 US dollars. So realize that this is not a big move to the downside and we already have $300 million here. So that is why I'm also becoming a little bit more cautious, similar to what I said yesterday, because we are just seeing massive liquidity starting to pile up to the downside. And if this thing actually turns around at some point, even if it is just a shorter move to the downside, all of these potentially late longs here could get ripped out of the market very, very quickly. Now, 97K is one of those big levels, but we also have a lot of liquidity at 93K. So in the case that we take out that 97K level, potentially the next area of interest for Bitcoin below that would already be at about 93.9K. Now, in the case that you haven't watched my free trading course, which you can find the link to in the video description, but either way, in the case that you haven't seen that, Typically, the Bitcoin price gets attracted to where there is the most liquidity on this chart right now. Technically speaking, it is to the downside. However, Bitcoin is in an uptrend as I'm recording this video. Okay, so we keep making higher highs and higher lows over and over again. And therefore, it is still more likely that we are going to take out liquidity to the upside first before potentially grabbing liquidity to the downside. So we are just going to keep taking out liquidity to the upside until we stop making higher highs and higher lows, okay? Lastly, taking a look at the Bitcoin ETF flow tables for today. Yesterday, we saw another billion dollars flowing into the Bitcoin ETFs here. So yeah, it is just going absolutely insane. Like the volume we are seeing here, guys, is just completely crazy. So of course, so long as this keeps happening where we get hundreds of millions, sometimes over a billion dollars worth of net inflows every single day of trading, then obviously this is going to have an upwards pressuring effect on the Bitcoin price. Although what you are seeing right now with these massive inflows, know that if this thing turns around, okay, we can have the same thing, but then to the opposite side, okay, we can still, we can also get a billion dollar outflow once the bear market starts, you know what I mean? That is why I think there's going to be huge potential in trying to short the bear market and actually try to profit from Bitcoin, getting that massive move to the downside. However, I don't think we're in the bear market yet. Obviously, I don't think we're in a bear market. And I was also saying this when people were freaking out here at 49K and saying the bull market was over. I was saying, no, we're still in the descending channel. We got the daily candle close inside the descending channel. And therefore, I am buying. Either way, this has been today's market update. If you want to stay up to date with the crypto markets, make sure to subscribe to my channel with notifications on so you don't miss any of these important update videos. Besides that, 
Don't forget to check out the Road to 1 Million community on Discord. This is the most active crypto trading community in the crypto space right now. It is completely free to join and you can simply click the link in the video description to get access to that. But regardless, if you do end up joining or not, thank you for watching once again, and I will see you tomorrow in the next one.